Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a mini MAC haul and the reason I'm not fully done up right now is because I'm going to be actually wearing some of the stuff that I got, like trying it out for you and wearing it out for the night. So I only got a few things. Also I'm going to go over the Baking Beauty line, which is one of their limited um, edition lines they have right now and they're only going to have it a few more weeks, the woman said. So. Um, I'm going to go over all the products they have because honestly they're so adorable and I don't know why I didn't jump on the bandwagon sooner. Um, if I had more money I would have probably bought the entire collection. I may even go back and buy some because I'm really regretting not getting more of their stuff. But anyway, I will go ahead and dive right in. I went to the um, MAC here in London on King's Road and I just want to say the customer service there was really really good. The girls were really sweet and really helpful. Um, I had been to one other store in London, another Mac store in Selfridges, and I don't want to say the customer service there was bad, but they were just like so disorganized. There were about a hundred employees, and they were all just kind of standing around, they seemed lost. And I was like, hello, like, can you please help me? And they were just a little bit rude, I'm not going to lie. Um, not like blatantly rude, but you could tell they did not want to help. They were just chatting with each other so I was kind of skeptical but the people on the girls on Kings Road were seriously so sweet so yeah Mac on Kings Road yay Selfridges eh, not so much so I got a couple of lipsticks um I'll start off with this this is the packaging it's the Nicki Minaj lipstick um Viva Glam Nikki. It's a satin lipstick and it's a limited edition one and the thing that sold me with this is not only is it a beautiful beautiful corally color I wish my camera had autofocus so I could show you guys but I'll do a swatch of it in a second so it's this beautiful coral color but the woman when she told me that all the proceeds of the Viva Glam lipsticks go to charity like Max AIDS fund I was like I'll take it. I mean, it's going to charity, so you don't feel as bad. So I'll do a swatch of this one. Oh, I almost feel bad swatching it because it's just so pretty. There we go. That's what it looks like. It's just like, it's so pretty. It's just such a pretty corally color. I also have the matching gloss. I'll swatch that as well. See, so they're very similar, but obviously this one's just a glossier version of that. I got this one a couple months ago. My mom got it for me actually when she was in town and I just held off on getting the lipstick but I just had to go back and get the lipstick because they only have this Nikki line for a year and it's already been out for a while so I'm not even sure how much longer they'll have it. That's one pretty pretty coral color. And then I went in there looking also, this is originally why I went in, I went in looking for a pink lipstick and I wanted like a really like pale pink lipstick because I don't have any pale pink lipsticks that I absolutely love. So when I first walked in, they had all of the limited edition stuff like on the right when you first, when you first walk in. And they had the whole Baking Beauty line. And I automatically was just drawn to it because it's all pinks and blues and like really girly fun colors which I'm obsessed with. So I literally just walked straight to the Baking Beauty collection. I tried on Raspberry Swirl. Um, and it was so pretty, like gorgeous, like bubblegum bubble gum pink almost. Also checked out St. Germain, because I had heard a lot of good things about St. Germain. So I saw the St. I like, so I looked at the St. Germain and I was like, wow, that's so pretty. And the woman was like, honestly, like raspberry swirls a lot more wearable. I think you'll probably be more inclined to get that one. And I was like, oh, okay. And then the second I tried on St. Germain, we were both like, Saint Germain. I ended up getting Saint Germain. It is just like, oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. I'm gonna have to zoom in on it. Oh my gosh, it's just like this like Barbie, Barbie pink almost. And I was not sure, like it's such a bold color, like I can see why a lot of people would be afraid of this. Like, look how pretty that is. Like bubblegum Barbie. You cannot get more pink than this. It's like such a blue toned pink. And this is actually, I'm about to wear this because it's just gorgeous. That 
that is just like, oh, it's so bold. Like, I just love it. I can't, oh my gosh. And it's, um, it's an amplified lipstick. It's one of the amplified ones. It's just, oh, I just love it. You just, can you see this, like, pinkness going on? And it looks really good with, like, a natural or neutral eye. So the last thing that I got, I told you guys I really didn't get that much, um, is a MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot, and it's from the Baking Beauty collection. And it's in Fancy Frosting. It is so pretty. Like, the second I swatched it, I was like, I've got to have this. It's like, it looks like frosting, like white vanilla frosting like and it's got these like little sparkles in it it's just so cute i will go ahead and swatch this for you i'm also going to be putting it on in a second so you will get to see what it looks like on that's it right there it's like just very like glittery whitish i feel like the camera's not really doing it justice but it's really pretty and i'm about to put some on and finish up my makeup look and i will be right back Okay guys, I'm back with the finish. Look, I've got the fancy frosting on my eyelids right now. So this is what it looks like. I didn't go too heavy with it. You can either be really subtle with it or really dramatic. Um, but since my lips are so dramatic, I didn't want to have like too overpowering of eyes and lips. So I will list um, all other makeup products that I use down in the description box below. Just remember they, they're only going to have it for like three or four more weeks. So if you want to get any of the Baking Beauty stuff, I suggest going to get it quick. Honestly, I wish I had more money so I could have done a little more shopping in there, but I am like totally broke. Totally. Oh my god, I sound English when I said that. That was my mini MAC haul. I hope you guys enjoy. Thumbs up if you found this helpful or if you like the colors that I chose let me know what your favorite MAC products are and once I get some more money I will definitely go shopping and check them out um, thank you so much for watching I'll talk to you guys soon Mwah.